My name is Andre Mars Moet. I'm 27 years old and I'm an actor. Who am I as an artist? I'm me. I am me and I am also the kid version of me. I am Andre at the age of four and I am Andre at the age of 27. I am a man following his dreams, trying to accomplish his goals. And I'm a guy that just wants to make his younger self proud. Now, if I were to say in the shape of art, like who am I as an artist, I would say that I'm different. I would say that I view things differently. I'd say that I am not your regular actor. And to be honest, I don't want to be your regular actor. I want to be somebody that's different. I don't want to be just your everyday Joe. I, as an artist, dream of doing things playing roles that not many black artists play. I, I'm an artist that wants to be different. I'm an artist that wants to play the role of a black man in the hood that has to deal with his werewolf side or vampire side side or any type of supernatural thing. I guess I'm an artist who is a dreamer and I'm an artist who is determined to make his dreams become reality. Where do I see myself in five years? In five years, I see myself still in Montreal, but I see myself in quite a few video games. I see myself in quite a few shows. I see myself in commercials. I see myself in a movie, probably in not uh, the main character, but I see myself in a movie playing a role that's just as important because, hey, all roles are important in a movie, no matter how small, no matter how big, they're important. I see myself in Montreal which is funny because I thought I would see myself in Vancouver, but I'm starting to see a different light and I'm starting to feel that I'm not done with this city yet. I feel like there's a lot more here that I can still grasp, still take in still learn. Where do I see myself in five years? I see myself in Montreal. I see myself building a superstructure for my career. And then finally, once those five years are done, then I see myself going to Toronto to take on the big fish to stand in the big league. That's where I see myself in five years. What has Am done for me? Well, I would say that Amp has given me the ability to be confident in my acting skills. Amp has given me tools and methods to work on my acting skills. AMP 
has showed me how to make my voice demos and showed me how to make better voice demos. Amp has introduced me to people that I find are going to play a big role in my future in the acting industry. I feel like m most of all, Amp has given me confidence. I feel like I wasn't confident in my acting abilities. And to be honest, I actually feel like I forgot. I forgot how to act. <laughs> Or maybe that's not even the right way of saying it. I guess I forgot how to believe that I myself, my own experiences are good. Like Amp has reminded me that going on stage is not just putting on a voice and trying to be something you're not. Amp has reminded me actually that when you go on stage and when you perform, it needs to come from in here. It needs to come from the inside. It can be all up in here, but it needs to come from what's on the inside and that you should be able to feel out your character. You should be able to perform and ask yourself, what did you feel after saying your monologue? What did you feel after doing the scene? How do you feel? Because your feelings are probably the best guidance on how to perform correctly for your scene. Amp has refreshed me and has introduced me to a lot of people that I've made connections with. And that I feel like they're going to be great friends. I'm happy that I came to AMP. <laughs> it's given me a lot.